We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Tampa Bay Rays and the Boston Red Sox. Now at the plate, Joey Wendell, and we are set for baseball here this evening. Ready on one and two. And he pops him up, drifting toward the left side of the infield. Devers has it, and there's one away. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Jose Martinez. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. So striding forward now, Austin Meadows. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. And this one runs a little too far in, ball two. High in the air out to center field. Waiting on it is Benintendi. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. And that'll bring up the left-handed hitting Andrew Benintendi. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Hit hard back up the middle. Adamas picks it up. And the throw to first is in time. One gun. Next up for the Red Sox, Dustin Pedroia. As he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Popped up. Diaz over to his left. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. So bases are empty here with two gone. And into bat next, one of the best run producers in the land, J.D. Martinez. Three balls and two strikes to the D.H. for the Red Sox. Hey, I don't blame him for giving up on that curveball. That was a rainbow coming out of the sky. Stole a strike. And a good job there to lay off. It's ball four as he becomes their first base runner of the ball game now with two away. And this one's up around the eyes. Two and one. To two and two now. Hey, he'd like to see a little bit more discipline in that. You get a count in your favorite and swinging a pitch that bad? Not good. Hit the other way out toward right field. And Meadows makes the catch for route number three. Next to bat will be the Tampa Bay cleanup hitter, Brandon Lowe. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. Swing and a miss on the sinker, and it's one and two. In my opinion, one of the toughest pitches in the game to square up. Just a heavy sinker with good downward action. Devers trying to get there. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. G Man Choi, the next to hit. He the was hitless in the shutout last man. night. Boy. Now the three and two pitch. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Bradley will call everyone off and track it down for out number two. So coming to the plate, Willie Adamas. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. The 1 1. Takes this the other way to right. And that is in there for a two out base knock. Stepping in now, Yandi Diaz. Still 1 and 2 as he fouls it away. Working for the punch out and the offering. And a slider bounces and that gets away. 
And he'll make it into scoring position here with two away as that'll be scored a wild pitch. Just hung in there on that one. The 2 2 pitch. Some pitchers fall into the trap of giving in on three and two because they don't want to walk the guy. But with the base open, it's not the end of the world if you do. You still need. Hold on now. That ball is down and could score a run. And the run will score as the Rays cash in on an early 1 nothing lead. The catcher, Mike. At the plate, Mike Zanino. Into the corner and slicing foul. The one two misses for the second ball. Diaz, the runner at first with two gone. And he fouls this one off. But pulled in at the hot corner, and that ends the inning. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here now is Rafael Devers, and he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. Slapped hard the opposite way, and a base hit, so the leadoff man is aboard. To the plate now, Mitch Moreland. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Here he comes again. One, two. In the dirt here. But it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. Here now the 2 2. Popped him up. Diaz is there, one away. Striding in for Boston, Alex Verdugo. First swings for him in this one with a runner still at first and one gone. Fouled off. Runners on first with one down. Oh, and you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes out number two. Now at the plate, Christian Vasquez. He drove in his club's only run a night ago. Grounded up the first baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. From the belt, the pitch. He might have to look for a different way to put this guy away on 2-2. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times, so he might be looking for it. Heading out towards shallow right. Meadows coming in on it. He gets there to make the play, and that ends the inning. So here's Kevin Kiermeyer, and he'll start out their half of the third, top of the order to follow. Now the one and one pitch is a sinker in the dirt. Back up the middle and in for a base hit. Standing in now, Joey Wendell. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. So one gone in the inning here with a runner at first. And up next will be the right-handed hitting Jose Martinez. Hit the target, but this is low, two and one. Well, we all know he's not the greatest threat with a bat up there. His numbers certainly aren't that pretty. But, hey, I give him credit. He's really working the count right here. He's fallen behind now, three and one. To be honest with you, I'm a little bit more afraid of the guy on deck than the guy that's up right now. 
If I'm on the mound, I want this guy up right now. He's the guy that's got to beat me. Three and two now. Now the payoff pitch home. Gets him swinging. He struck him out. So a runner at first with two away. Austin Meadows will be the next to bat. Austin Meadows. The 1-1 one, one home is taken for ball two. That's a great call right there. Fastball away with a guy who's got some jets on first base. Almost like a hybrid pitch out. Great for a catcher if that guy's running. Easy transfer throw to second base. Now the 2-1 pitch. In the air out toward right field. Chasing after it is Verdugo. He tracks it down and that will end the inning. At the plate, Jackie Bradley Jr. As we move on to the bottom of inning number three. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Here's the pitch. Oh, and he's caught looking at a beautiful curveball there as that buckled him for the first out of the oh, inning. The Digging in for his second at bat, Andrew Benintendi. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. 2 and 1 now to the Boston leadoff hitter. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind 3 and 1. Waiting next is Dustin Pedroia. 3 and 2. You rarely see a pitcher of this quality throw one right down the middle, and man, as a hitter, Probably a good chance you're not going to see that pitch again. Morton has a play, and he makes the catch for the second out. So two are gone now for Dustin Pedroia. And this misses for ball four. The second walk he surrendered here in the first three innings. So it's a runner at first with two gone. And that'll bring up the dangerous bat of J.D. Martinez. Now the one and one pitch is laid off for ball two. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. That goes Kiermaier to the track. On the warning track, he makes the catch. All set for the start of the fourth. Digging in now, Brandon Lowe. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Sliced hard on the ground, and that's through for a hit. He's around first, heading for two. Now that the first base, G-Man Choi. So now to the plate, G-Man Choi, skied in the air to straightaway left. Waiting on it is Benintendi, and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. And the runner, not tagging, will retreat to second base. The batter, number one. Up next for the Rays, Willie Adamas. He singled and scored in his first appearance in this one. The 2-1 home. Oh, right back to him on the mound. And he'll send it on to first, and that'll freeze the runner at second with two away now. The third baseman. And that'll bring in Yandy Diaz, looking to follow up the RBI single from his first at-bat. Yeah, and he's got to feel super confident right now. He's the only real offense in this game. Guy and the throw to first. He's there. The inning is over. And that brings in Xander Bogarts. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Here's the 1-1 one one pitch. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one. Taken off the outside as the breaking ball couldn't catch the corner. Great A.B. up until this point. A walk right here could really just infuse some confidence into this lineup. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. 
And it's gone into the monster seats. At the plate now, Rafael Devers. One and two now. One run, two hits, and no errors for the Red Sox to this point. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. Running hard. He's digging for second. Now back, first baseman, Mitch Moreland. Stepping in now, Mitch Moreland. And this is swung on and missed, and Moreland is set down on strikes for the first down. Now back. Standing in, Alex Verdugo. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. And that misses ball four. So with now one bad. out, that'll at least set up the double play possibility here that could get them out of the inning. Now the 2-1. Paul didn't go his way on 2-1, and one, but it's important here on 3-1 and one to still make a quality pitch. You have to have the mindset that you're still the one in the driver's seat. Now the 3-2 and two pitch. This is on the ground over to first. Oh, look at the dive. Relay to first in time, and just like that, the side is retired. New inning set to get underway. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Mike Zanino hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. Yeah, Matty, but as he walks to the plate right here, he feels good building off that last A-B. He hit that ball on the screws. Really feels like he's just on cruise control out there on the mound right now. Boy, this is a tight one. You kind of get the feeling like the next team that scores is going to win this one. And he looks at a cold strike three as the cut fastball's in there, and that's out number one. The center fielder, Kevin The one-two. Swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. So bases are empty here with two gone. And digging in next will be Joey Wendell. Now the two-one pitch. Belted high and deep into right center. Ranging back is Bradley at the track and he makes a nice catch on the track as that ends the inning here's Jackie Bradley now 0 for 1 for him here in this one trying to send him packing for the second time it'd be great right here if he was able to work himself on base you got the leadoff hitter on deck and you know the middle of the order is coming. Once again, a 3-2. High and deep to right. Meadows moving back to the track. He can't get there in time, and now it hops over the wall for a ground rule double. Into the box now, Andrew Benintendi. High in the air down the right field line. And foul. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Grounded down the third baseline. Uh, throw not nearly in time, so despite the great effort, that'll go into the books as an infield single. Number 15, second baseman, Justin. To the plate now, Dustin Pedroia. Now this ball popped up. Playable, however, behind the plate for Zanino. And he'll stay with it here as he puts the squeeze on it for out number one. And that'll bring up J.D. Martinez. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Yeah, give me the same at bat. As you stride to the plate right here, give me the same execution. Just get something in the air. You got a chance to take the lead right here. Don't try and do any more. Adamas backs up and takes care of it. Two away. So runners at the corners with two gone. And that'll bring up the shortstop and one of the better two-strike hitters in baseball, Xander Bogarts. 
Yeah, and that last at bat, Danny, he turned that fastball around. He didn't hit it a ton. He didn't hit it a country mile, but hey, listen, a home run is a home run. From the stretch, the one two. Still a ball and two strikes. Ready with the one two. Pretty good breaking ball to lay off of right there. If I'm pitching, I might think this guy might be sitting on something off speed. Now about a 58-foot breaking pitch that he wisely lays off here. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. And the throw to first will indeed get him. It's a strikeout score at 2-3, to three, and the inning is over. Ryan Weber is into the ball game now as he'll make his fifth appearance of the season here. Number 65. Top half of the sixth about to get started. Digging in once again, Jose Martinez. No hits to this point. Maybe a little jumpy there as he swings through the fastball. High in the air out to center field. Bradley is right there, one down. Ready for another shot now. Austin Meadows, 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Now the 1 and 1 pitch. Well hit. Deep down the right field line. And that nearly broke our tie, but instead it's a foul ball. Again, he sends it out of play. He was looking for a swing and a miss breaker right there, but left that one in the zone that got fouled off. And this is swung out and missed, so it's two up, two down to start the sixth inning. Now Number Next eight. will be the cleanup hitter, Brandon Lowe. A hit in two tries for him so far. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. Here's another one, too. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for a ball. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. Now the payoff pitch home. And he misses ball four. Now batting, G Man Choi. 0 for two for him to this point. Runner aboard at first here with two gone in a 1 1 ball game. well behind that fastball it's a swinging strike this pitcher's bringing it with some high velo you better get that front foot down early and get ready or he's going to throw it right by you hit in the air down the right field line but this will wind up being a foul ball swing and a liner foul one run, four hits, and no errors for Tampa Bay so far. Now he turns on a fastball and sends it deep down the right field line. And this hops over the wall out there for a ground rule double, and maybe a tough break as that'll freeze the runner at third with two gone. And the first base open, it looks as though they'll go after the next guy with the force at any base now in order and two men gone. Ready with the 2 1. On a line, that's a base hit. They'll cash in here as the run is in to score from third. It's now a 2 to 1 ball game. Now that the catcher, Mike Zanino. Into the box, Mike Zanino. And a fastball, but he's losing it a bit here to three and one now. It often becomes harder to hit the zone when the pressure starts to heat up. And it's up to a three-two full count now. A payoff pitch. He's able to ride this one high and deep toward right center. Verdugo backing up on it. And he makes the catch as just the one run comes across in the inning.
Rafael Devers the next to bat. He doubled earlier and carries a two for two line into this appearance. Now the two one. He's in there for strike number two. I know to the fans that probably looked like something good to hit. But unless you're sitting breaking ball right there, I don't care if it's middle of the plate. That's a tough pitch to pull the trigger on. And that one misses. So the leadoff man will head down to first on ball four to start the bottom of the sixth. There's the first baseman now, Mitch Moreland. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Now the one and one pitch is a breaking ball in off the plate. Sometimes you got to be aggressive offensively, but sometimes you just let the pitcher dig his own grave. Patience and discipline seem to be the way to go right here. Meadows has it, and there's one away. Colin Poche enters to make an appearance on the mound as he inherits a runner at first with one out in the inning. Alex Verdugo will be the first to greet him here as he'll stand in with a runner at first and one away. Hard hit to the left side, but taken in out there at short. Had him played perfectly that time, and there are now two down. gone now. The pitcher. Striding in, Christian Vasquez. He was a double play victim last time around. Yeah, rolling into a two ball will eat at you for the rest of the game at least, so you know he wants to make up for it right here. Unable to get the bat around in time, and the count evens at two and two. And he popped him up. Adamas into shallow left. He's got it as the tying run is left on base. Seventh inning ready to roll. At the plate, Kevin Kiermeyer. He's working on a one for two game so far. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Waiting on it is Benintendi. One down. Joey Wendell digs in now. Into the windup. Here's the two and one pitch. Clearly off with his timing on that one. A swinging strike. And he tries to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside. Three and two. Every base runner in a close game like this really. And that'll just sneak past his outstretched arm, a base hit. Now batter, the left fielder, Jose. So now to the plate, Martin. Jose Martinez. Mine to the right side. Now a reach, but this gets past him and right, and this ought to be extra bases. Wendell rounds third and is digging for the plate. And he's safe at the plate. And they now lead by two. So they'll go to the bullpen now, and it'll be the left-hander here to face the upcoming left-handed batter. Standing in now, Austin Meadows. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Sliding into the box, Brendan Lowe. He's working here to bring home that very important insurance run standing at third. Rip down the line. And he tries for the backhand reach at third, but he gets by the glove down the line. And tack on one more, make it a four to one lead. And he's safe. Now that the first baseman, G Man. At the plate now, G Man Choi. And here's a pitch swung on and missed one and two now. Hey, this is a big pitch right here. Can't allow them to tack on any more runs. Let's see if he... A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Chaz Rowe will come on out of the bullpen as he'll be appearing in his third game this season. Digging in and looking for more, Jackie Bradley Jr. His career numbers against this pitcher, not a big sample size, 0 for 1. Now the 1-1 one one pitch. Takes a pass and misses, that's strike 2. 
Rowe was known as a short relief specialist, a guy who came in, got one or two big outs, but with the new pace of play rules, they're forcing a change for this right-hander. Two balls and two strikes now. And it's fouled away. The 2-2 one more time. Fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Now the left-handed hitting right Andrew Benintendi and stands in. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Lays off the slider that time, two and one. And that's ball three now as it just misses below the zone. Full count now. We're in the seventh now. Four to one our score to this point. Fouled away. Another full count pitch home. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back to back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to 2 and 1 now. Hit on the ground to third. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Ryan Brazier has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Standing in, Willie Adamas. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. Ball and two strikes to the Rays shortstop. Popped him up. Moreland moving to his left. He's got it one away. Now at the plate, Yandy Diaz. Singled home a run in his last time up. The 1-1 one -one home. Eighth inning. Four to one is our score. A swing and a ground ball to third. Throw not in time, and he beats it out for his third hit tonight. So here's Mike Zanino. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Here's the one and one pitch. Hit high and deep to right center. Chasing after it is Bradley. He's not going to have a play on it, and this might bring home the runner from first. And that runner will go no further than second, as there are two aboard now. Next for Tampa Bay. In now, Kevin Kiermeyer. On the run, this one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. Oh, I love that pitch right there. Up and in. Jam sandwich. And he fouls this one off. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Full count now. Three and two. I don't think he can afford another base runner here. So whatever pitch he feels best about, whichever one he feels most comfortable with, that's the one I expect him to turn to. Oh, and they pull the string on a good change up there as he swings and misses, and he's set down on strikes for the second time tonight. Two and one to the Rays' leadoff batter. A time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself 
in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. On the ground, back up the box, and it'll get through into center field, a base hit. Ah, but this is well up the line, and he's safe at home playing. Now back, left field. Into the box now, Jose Martinez. All even now, two and two. Two men are on with two men out. Hit on the ground to third. On to first, and that'll do it as they manage to not let this inning get out of hand. Peter Fairbanks is into the ball game now as he'll make his fifth appearance of the season here. Number 29. Bottom of the inning now. Now the Red Sox DH, J.D. Martinez. He flew out in his last at-bat. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this A.B. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Hey, they tried to tie him up on that last pitch, so I like that they went away with this one. The execution didn't work, but I like the idea behind it. Full count, three and two. And here's a slider. Strike three called, and that'll be the first out of the inning. At the plate, Xander Bogarts. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. Full count as that misses. It's three and two now. Rafael Devers will be next. This is well struck. High and deep toward the left field corner. Martinez is back to the track as he takes it for out number two. So striding in, Rafael Devers. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. And a good idea to hold off there as it goes to two and two now on the Boston third baseman. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Martinez will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. Keith Hembry enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Stepping into the box, Austin Meadows looking to change his fortunes here. 0 for 4 with two strikeouts so far in the game. And this pitch misses here. It's ball four, and they've got a leadoff base runner aboard to start the ninth. Now batter. Trying to Number pick eight. things up where he left off. Brandon Lowe. It was an RBI double for him in his last turn to the plate. In there at the letters, one and two now. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline. And now it'll rattle up against the wall. And now they'll have runners at the corners to start off the inning. Now batter. The first baseman. G-Man. To the plate Choi. now. G-Man Choi. Mm, right down the shoot that time. One and two. Just off the outside that time. Laid off for a ball. Not sure if that was a great take or if he got locked up on a two-seamer running away, but either way, it worked out well for him. That's a well-thrown pitch, though. Hit in the air out to center field. Bradley is there. Let's see if they try it. And he might have thought about it at third, but with one away, decides not to risk it. The batter, number one. Ready for another Five. chance? Willie Adamas and their runners at the corners now. And he lays off the breaking ball there as he moves ahead to two and one. Hit the other way out toward right field. After it is Verdugo. But he can't get there as this hops over the wall for a ground rule double. And a bit of a break on defense as only one run is going to score. High and wide. Two balls and a strike. His pitch count is getting up there in the inning now. He needs to get this frame over with sooner than later, so forcing contact and getting the defense involved is probably the best thing he can do. 
fly ball out to straightaway right. Catch is made here in right, and here comes the runner from third. And he will get in to score, and it's a run batted in on the sacrifice fly. Here now is Mike Zanino. Runner in scoring position with two gone. Mike. Men on third with two down. A one and two count to the Rays catcher. And there's strike three. So we'll see now if they can manage to hold on to this huge lead as the side is retired. Jose Alvarado will come on and make his fourth appearance in this campaign. Number 46, Jose. Stepping in, Mitch Moreland. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. Swung on and missed. One and two now. Alvarado is a guy known for his lights out stuff. He tends to rack up strikeout numbers at a very high rate. However, he does at times get wild. Walks have come back to bite him on more than one occasion. You know, it's not uncommon, Matty V, for a relief pitcher to come in with really good stuff. And it seems like he's either really hit and miss. He'll rack up a lot of strikeouts, but if he's not quite on, he'll also rack up a lot of base on balls. And that can cause a pitching coach and a manager to really start to pull their hair out. Got him swinging on the fastball there. Mitch Moreland goes quietly to lead off the bottom of the ninth. Swing and a liner. Foul. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Kiermeyer on the run. He gets there and makes a fine running play for the second out. Red Sox down to their final out now. And from the on deck circle into the batter's box comes Christian Vasquez. Last strike now for the Red Sox. Grounded back up the middle. And there's his first base hit in this one. for the Red Sox, the center fielder, Jackie Bradley. At the plate, Jackie Bradley Jr. Jr. And now a fastball, but he's able to hold off on it, and it's 2-1 and one now. Three balls and a strike now to Bradley. Andrew Benintendi would be next. The 3-1 and one pitch. And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole in getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Andrew Benintendi. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Well outside with the curveball for a ball. Looked like he was a little over aggressive there to throw that nasty curveball. Just needs to slow his delivery down a bit. And this is in the air to right. And this should do it. And he'll make the catch to end it. And the Rays have come back to even up this series at a game apiece as this ball game is over. Well, this game had its moments, but it got out of hand pretty quick. Always nice when you can coast to a six-run win. Save your closer for another day and let everyone in on the action. 7-1, the final score in tonight's. Tampa Bay wrote an important sixth inning to victory in this one. Charlie Morton earns the win his second. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. The final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious Rays. Seven runs on 13 hits. No error. They left 10 men on base. For the Red Sox, one run on six hits. One error. They left 10 men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 58 minutes. Tonight's paid attendance at Fenway Park, 37,755. We'd like to thank the Red Sox Nation for their continuing support and remind you to please drive home safely. Good night.